Hi, I'm Trisha Rio, Program Coordinator at Gulf Coast Ultrasound Institute, and I'm here today with a hot tip on ergonomics. Work-related musculoskeletal disorders affect over 90% of sonographers and cause pain in the nerves, muscles, ligaments, and tendons. Work-related musculoskeletal disorders develop gradually over a period of time from repeated exposure to risk factors and are among the most frequently reported cause of restricted or lost work time. Work-related musculoskeletal disorders can impose a substantial personal toll on those affected since they may no longer be able to work or perform simple personal tasks and activities of daily living. Ergonomics is critical to preventing work-related musculoskeletal disorders and is the responsibility of the manufacturer, employer, and the employee. Let's check in on Casey and see how his ergonomics are. Wow, we've got a lot of work to do. This doesn't look comfortable at all, does it? The industry standards for the prevention of work-related musculoskeletal disorders in sonography is the work product of a 2016 census conference on work-related musculoskeletal disorders involving 26 sonography-related professional organizations, accreditation bodies, and manufacturers. The objective of this project was to produce a detailed resource that, when implemented, may assist in the reduction of work-related musculoskeletal disorders among users of sonographic equipment. Employers should offer annual education and training on the risks and prevention of MSK disorders related to sonography and perform an annual risk assessment of their employers and facilities. So Casey, let's try a couple things. Number one, he's leaning too far over. And why is that? That's because his patient isn't properly positioned. So let's go ahead and reduce the height of our bed. That's gonna allow him to unabduct his arm because it should only be 30 degrees or less. So he's gonna bring his shoulder into a more neutral position. We're also gonna ask our patient to just take one scooch closer to us. Sir, do you mind moving just a little bit closer to Casey? Wonderful. And then the other adjustment we can make is with our system. You notice how Casey's reaching for the system? Again, that's gonna put a lot of tension on your shoulder. So let's go ahead and bring that system closer to us, Casey. So now we've got him sitting straight with a flat back. His feet are firmly planted on the floor. His shoulder is now in a more neutral position and he can reach his patient and scan. Other considerations, look at the height of your imaging monitor because you want it to be eye level or a little bit lower than that. You also want to make sure that you're able to reach all of your supplies, so have them on some sort of cart or something you can bring closer to you. And you want to make sure that you're wearing a cable brace and that'll allow you to take some of the tension off that you're going to feel from the weight of that transducer cable. So Casey's just going to go ahead and strap that transducer cable right in there. Should also try to avoid sustained reach, bending, twisting of the trunk, excessive neck flexion, extension, or rotation, excessive reach and abduction, working with your arm behind midline, excess grip force and transducer pressure, and prolonged awkward or static posture. Should also try to avoid uneven seated or standing weight distribution. And how does that feel? A little bit more comfortable? So that feels much more comfortable. Great. Visit GCUS.com for more information and resources on ergonomics and sonography. While it is the responsibility of the manufacturer, your employer, and yourself, it is your daily actions that truly matter. You are the one who stands to be injured from improper scanning ergonomics. So get informed, use the tools and resources available, and let your employer know if there's something you need that you don't have. Now you give it a try.